Look how I show you a little bit of my um, high motor safe neck. I built this neck probably 25, 30 years ago. So when you mount a neck, I always like to use some 6 by 6 for the main post. But you can use 4 by 4 But anyway, the main thing when you're mounting a neck, you want to mount a freestanding neck. So if the house would fall away, your neck would still stay up. And by adding some 4 by 6s in the back, um, we achieve that. So it's, it's in the molding. The main 2x10 uh, is anchored into the, the molding. But on each point, we put a 4 by 6 So, it supports the mark in the front, so there's no chance of this neck ever collapsing like you always see on TV. This is a pretty big neck. So at every point, we have a 4 by 6 and the structural points. And you see here is one in the corner. But that's the main thing when you're mowing it back. You don't want it to collapse. And if you put supports in the back, you're not going to have that neck collapse on you from uh, not being anchored into their mowing rig, no matter what. So, it's a good idea to mount a freestanding neck. So if your house falls away, your neck's still standing. It's the safest way. So you want to anchor into the mowing and put these extra supports in, and that will make a nice, safe neck. And uh, you can see, I, I use quite a bit of these. I mean, what's a couple more for my sixes when uh, I take the chance of something happening and that thing falling in? That's not worth it. So, um, Please make a freestanding neck when uh, supports in the back when you make necks just to make them nice and safe. Okay? Thank you.